So I thought this would make an interesting video. I've got some uh, Dell Optiflex 710 ultra small form factors. Put these up really cheap and they have the following error when it goes into the BIOS. So I thought I'd quickly show you how to uh, fit a new coin cell to these because it's not as easy as you might think. So first of all you've got to take the uh, case off. And then to pop the this front front cover off there's two clips here and then there's a third one in here that you push into the side and then the bottom pops off this drive tray assembly just be really careful when you lift it up because the cables underneath are still connected so I don't have my hard drive connected in but you can see there's not a lot of uh, not a lot of slack on these at all so I'll just take this out of the way for the minute so pretty standard small form factor assembly. So the actual coin cell is underneath this assembly here. So this is the fan and then you've got the heatsink assembly. So you can just about get to it, but you need to push this clip here out to the side, which releases this lever. You need to unplug from the motherboard this fan cable. And then this fan just sort of goes up out of the way. Some of these release easy and some of them just don't so you can leave it in just have to be careful and then the coin cell it's just down there so it's a bit of a mission to get to so I'm using my iFixit kit and I've got this uh, adaptable thing with the whatever it's whatever it's called so I'm just gonna go into here like so and then just gently underneath the battery Give it a twist. To pop the battery out. And it's just a standard 2032. Pretty standard coin cell. So I'm going to grab a new one. then you can just about get your fingers in to do this but I've missed which is always good so I'm going to turn it upside down get the coin cell back out so I'm going to try again so I've got the coin cell lined up going to use the screwdriver this time and I'm just going to push it in great so the coin coin cell is now installed just there And then to put this all back together, lift this lever up, put the fan back, and then you push this down and it clips around the side. Plug this little cable back in. And then reassemble the, uh, the drive tray. I don't screw these in for personal use anyway. The drive tray. Just got to be careful that these cables you don't push into this fan. It has got a grill on it, but you just don't really want the cables into the fan. Just pop that back in. Pop the front on. Front's easiest to go on if you put the uh, bottom in first. And then push it up. They latch in. Then put the lid back on. And do up the thumb screw at the back. Battery changed.
Once you've changed the battery, go into the BIOS, the settings, general and time date, and then set a new time and date.